Hey, welcome back to another video. This is the final of our Candy Crush type game. So here's some modifications that you're going to do on your own. So first of all, let's add a click counter. So you can calculate the number of turns that a person takes. Then we'll, we'll figure out if you win the game or not. So right now it doesn't tell you anything if you fill a whole board. So we want to display a message box if they win. Also, we have eight colors. It seems to be a lot, so let's reduce it to maybe six. And then finally, on every nth turn, let's make it a little bit more challenging. Let's frustrate the player just by picking a random tile on the board and switching its color back to something else. So that will prevent them from just mindlessly uh, picking things. They'll have to have a few frustrations too. So here's what it might look like when you're done. So I have ourselves uh, just six colors here. I've got a little click label. And so if I pick something such as red and start making uh, selections, you can see that the uh, colors are now changing and I'm also counting the number of clicks. So every, uh, every once in a while though, we should see, I think it's, I set mine to every, like every 10th value, we should see a new, uh, a new item come up here. So let's see, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, one of them, I think it was, I, I could, didn't see it, but it is setting the uh, back color as well. Okay, so there you go. We've got ourselves a game. And the important part is that you see how the uh, flood fill works because we'll be using that very soon in our own Minesweeper game. 